I think this is a good conversation to have, especially as we attempt to unpack the internal misogyny. Just yesterday, we were talking about how um, media and arts were typically written by men. I think Homewrecker is part of that as well, shifting the blame to the woman versus holding men accountable for cheating on their family, I mean, on their wife and leaving their family and all of that. So this woman posted this in the rant subreddit. She said, people use the term homewrecker to blame women instead of holding men accountable for their actions. I think this is a good one. She says, maybe this is controversial. I don't know. I've ranted about this with friends and wanted to share it here to get other people's opinions. In pop culture, with how exposed celebrities' lives are, especially since social media, we have seen many times the scenario in which a man is in a happy relationship, either married or with children, and then leaves his family pretty abruptly and starts dating another woman. In these scenarios, most of the time, the internet starts labeling the new woman as a homewrecker. Now, we really don't know how they're, they're living. We don't know if they're a happy family or whatnot. We only know what they put on social media. All right, it says, examples of this could be with Haley, ba Haley Bieber when she got with Justin, who was previously with Selena Gomez, Angelina Jolie when she got with Brad Pitt, who divorced Jennifer Aniston, Sabrina Carpenter when she got with Barry Keoghan. I have no idea who Barry Keoghan is, who left his girlfriend and child, or Ariana Grande, who got with Ethan Slater, who left his wife and child. Please know and understand, I don't know any of these scenarios or what happened because I don't follow pop culture like that. She says, in all of these um, scenarios and many more, the women have been dragged by the internet for being homewreckers and destroying the man's family or relationship. To me, this is a way to put blame on the woman instead of the man. So regardless of me knowing the scenarios, that part is absolutely true. It's true that those situations are messy, but in the end, it was the man's choice to leave his family and be with another woman. In most cases, the first couple had already broken up before the man started dating the new woman, yet all over the internet, you see people dragging the women and very few talking about what the men did. I'm not saying it's not sad that they left their families. I'm just saying it was their own doing. They chose to divorce their wives or leave their children to go be with someone else. I personally don't think that people should be too involved in celebrities' personal lives or think that they can judge their lives. But if you decide to talk about it and criticize people for their relationships, blame the people who are truly responsible. This whole term is rooted in sexism and used as a way to hold women responsible for men's wrongs. If you disagree, well... Let's discuss it. I totally do not disagree. Um, when men talk about things like upgrading or trading her in, they are basically saying that they're going to do this. It's baked into the cake. We've come to accept the fact that women are like trading cards to be traded in, traded up. If one gets a ding, one isn't looking the same way. One is actually human and like starts to age. You can trade them in. One starts to malfunction and like have thoughts or want you to participate in the home, trade it in. It's not um, the reason why men are not blamed is because women deserve to be switched around like pieces, um, upgraded like they upgrade their cars. So, yes, the woman is going to get the blame because it's baked in the cake that men are going to leave. <laughs> but let's see what the comments say. Dog Mom says misogyny is so ubiquitous in society that many people just blame women as the default in situations like this. It's ridiculous and far too many men are not held properly accountable. And then the OP says exactly. When you listen to people, it's like women maliciously lured these men out of their relationships. It's about time we start considering men as adults able to make their own choices and therefore responsible for these choices. And the craziest part of this is that it's been baked into the cake that men are the most logical leaders, right? But they can't lead themselves home to the right JJ. <laughs> they allow a woman to like basically pull them, you know, pull them away like this. <laughs>
emotional mix says, you are absolutely correct. People are like, she's a cheater. No, he is. I'm not saying it's okay if you're not married to date a, to date a married person, but no one says anything bad about the man who is married. They just seriously think the, the woman made him do it or something, and he couldn't help it. Exactly. <laughs> um, the OP says, yeah, absolutely. And yes, you can blame someone for knowingly dating a married person, but I hope you also blame the married person for cheating. Like, no one forced him to cheat. But, and then Gullible Tune says, can't men also be homewreckers? Do men, ever, do you hear the label home, um, homewreckers labeled on men? Do you, do you get, hear them called that? I don't. The OP says, yes, they can. My point is that more often than not, that term is used to label women in the situation where men cheated or left their families. I'm just saying that term used to criticize women is a way to shift the blame from the men who cheated onto the women. Um, Gullible Tune then says, there is a certain seductress narrative that plays out sometimes true. I mean, anything can sometimes be true, but still at any um at in, in any case that man had choices you have to make the decision to meet up you have to make the decision to um tell your spouse that you're going to be one place when you're really the other place unless you're being sa'd no one made you have x with that person no one made you leave your wife that's a choice and to act like it's not is to infantilize these men the OP says, yes, people can seduce other married people to try to have a relationship with them, but the ultimate, um, but ultimately the choice is made by the person who decides to cheat. You can't be forced to cheat or leave a relationship if you don't want to. Men aren't defenseless creatures lured by women and coerced into having a relationship they don't want. They make that choice. Therefore, the blame's on them. Gullible Tune then responded with, yes, it is. I certainly don't look well on the people who pursue married individuals either, but the blame for the marriage breakup lies much more with the person that's part of the marriage. Yes, so this person brought it back to the married person. Damn daughter, Gerd, I'm not sure what that name says, says, yep, this grinds my gears. The comment is usually, she knew he was married. And then they said, yeah, well, so did he. And then Checo says, calling somebody a homewrecker is blaming them for their own actions. That's just the name we use for those particular actions. The person who cheated on their spouse is called a cheater or adulterer or sometimes philanderer. Personally, I think being a cheater is way worse than being a homewrecker, but they are clearly two different things and neither one is good. But the thing is, I believe that the cheater wrecked their own home. The cheater wrecked their home. Um, the home wrecker, yeah, played a part. I mean, the woman or the other person played a part, but the person who was in the home wrecked their own home. Let's see if I think I feel like I'm the OP, but I didn't write this. The OP says, yeah, but the problem is the term home wrecker implies that the person is responsible for ruining the relationship between the couple, which is not true. Obviously, their actions are bad, but it's two different things. They went after someone who's married, yes, but they didn't cause the marriage to end. That's the problem with this term because it puts the blame for the ending of the relationship on the other person. And we don't necessarily even know if um, the man or the cheater let them know that they were married or something. Let's not act like these people don't lie. She continues with, the other problem with it is that it's mostly used against women. And in the scenarios where the woman, women are called homewreckers, people barely talk or criticize the men for their actions. That's a way of basically saying it's the woman's fault for breaking up the family and gives the idea that the man didn't make a conscious choice, being aware of the consequences, and he did. I thought this was a good one to start off the, the day, but you guys go ahead and weigh in. What are your thoughts? It's all part of language. It's the misogyny. It's the sexism. Um, it's all, it goes back to Eve, you know, always blaming the, the women for men's actions, yet men still get to hold the title of leader for some strange reason, even though they're so easily supposedly led. So how are you like so easily led, but you're still the leaders? Y'all join the conversation. Let me know what you think about this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.